Hello guys, how are you doing? Yes, this is your Dr. Vandari Shiva. In this video, we are going to cover one of the interesting uh, questions of uh, ray optics from the concept of refraction. Okay, yes, a ray of light uh, falls on a transparent sphere with center at C as shown in the figure. Okay, this is your center. The ray emerges uh, from the sphere parallel to line AB. This dotted line is uh, AB. Okay, the refract index of the sphere is what? That is the question. Let us take a uh, a bigger sphere so that we can clearly understand things. So, since uh, nothing is given about a uh, medium refract index, uh, let me consider that as uh, air, whose refract index is actually 1. Now, the ray is uh, entering from rarer to denser medium. Generally, uh, if you compare uh, any medium with uh, air, that will be mostly denser only. Okay. So, now whenever the ray goes from rarer to denser, it should bend towards normal, that you know, I hope. If the ray is uh, entering from denser to rarer, it will bend uh, away from normal. Okay, please remember this. Now, the ray, if suppose this uh, transparent sphere would have been not there, then this should have gone directly like this. This is undeviated ray. Okay, now the ray is, uh, uh, you have to see the normal law. How, how do you draw normal for a sphere? It has to go through a center. So, this is the center now. So, this line AB will be the normal line here. Okay. So now, what is your uh, angle of refraction? So basically, it is going from uh, rarer outside, denser inside. Let me consider the refract index of this uh, sphere is mu. So it should bend uh, towards normal. So there are two possibilities. One, it can bend uh, towards normal or away from normal. Okay. It is bending like this, for example, let us say. Okay. So now, at this location, let me draw a normal here. Normal should be passing through the center. Okay. So, since uh, it is going from denser medium to rarer medium now, it should bend uh, away from normal. So, it is supposed to go straight like this, but it uh, should bend uh, away from normal. Okay, it's supposed to go straight like this, but it will bend away from normal. This is how. And uh, he also has given you in the question that uh, it has to bend, it has to go parallel to the line AB. Alright, yes. <coughs> now, if you apply Snell's law here, and uh, what is this angle of angle here? Angle of refraction. Okay, now if I apply Snell's law here at this location, what will I get? Mu 1 sin angle of incidence is equal to mu 2 sin angle of refraction. That is the Snell's law. What is the first, first refract index here? Air sin i angle of incidence is 60 is equal to what is the angle of uh, refractive index of the transparent sphere? Mu sin r now. But here you want to find mu, but you do not know r also. Uh, you don't know how to find, uh, you don't know the value of r, let us find out uh, the value of it. So, uh, the information is not directly given, but indirectly it, is, it has been given. So, for this, uh, we have to take the help of uh, angle of deviation. Let me take uh, another uh, sphere, so that uh, I can, let me derive uh, the relation for angle of deviation first and then I will come back to this question. So, basically, the ray is, uh, the ray is supposed to go like this, very good. Now, the ray is bending like this, that is what we have seen. And it's it has it's supposed to go like this. And if I look at the normal, this is the normal actually at this location, and the normal at this location will be going like this. Okay, this is the normal. Hmm. So this is the angle of refraction here, and uh, this is the radius now from here to here. And now this is the radius. This will also be radius. The opposite angle for this side is R. And uh, if this side is also R, then this angle will also be R now. Very good. Geometry. Okay. So, angle of emergence is E now. So, let me consider this angle of uh, 60 as angle of incidence. Let me apply Snell's law at this uh, first surface. What will I get? Mu A outside sin I angle of incidence is equal to mu, uh, mu sphere sin R. Okay. Hmm. Now, for the second surface, if I apply Snell's law, this is the second surface. Hmm. What will be that? Mu, mu prism or mu sphere sign of uh, angle of incidence. Angle of incidence will be the R, R itself here because uh, this is the angle the incident ray at this surface is making with the normal. That is equal to mu air sin sin E. Alright? Yes. 
so if you see properly this uh, i mean this uh, mu sin r this mu sin r are actually the same so i can equate uh, mu a sin i is equal to mu a sin e <coughs> mu a mu a cancel so i can say that uh, i is equal to e that means uh, angle of emergence is also equal to angle of incidence here okay now what is the angle of deviation here so the incident ray is supposed to go straight like this because of uh, this transparent sphere it is uh, finally going like this this is the final ray it's supposed to be the incident ray the difference between these angles is called uh, angle of deviation okay fine now if i just uh, find out the relation between this uh, delta and uh, i mean delta and r i'll i'll be i'll be getting the value of mu there fine so if uh, this is i this angle should also be i total angle should be this total angle supposed to be i and this angle will be i minus r okay since uh, this is also i here so this angle in this total angle this total angle supposed to be i itself since uh, both of them are actually alternative angles okay if this is i this will also be i so total angle is i if you subtract r from this it will be i minus r okay so now you have to remember one important formula from geometry that is uh, exterior angle is equal to sum of uh, two opposite interior angles so this is the exterior angle delta here that is equal to sum of uh, two interior angles these two are the interior angles and the two opposite interior angles okay uh, i minus r plus uh, i minus r so it's supposed to be 2 into i minus r and this is one of the important relations okay uh, so here if I see this uh, angle of, in, I mean, uh, refraction for this present problem. So, please remember this formula, delta is equal to 2 into i minus r. Let us go back to the previous problem. So, here, the ray is supposed to go uh, parallel to this uh, AB line and this is your delta, okay. So, if you see properly, hmm, this angle is 60, this angle will also be 60, you know. These two angles are called alternative angles, again, okay. So now, just uh, let us take the help of uh, delta is equal to 2 into i minus r. What is delta now? 60. And what is the angle of incidence? Third, uh, 60 again, minus r. So 2 ones are 2, 30 is r. Okay. So 60 minus r is equal to 30. So r will be is equal to 60 minus 30. So 30 degrees is the angle of refraction. Just substitute it here, you will get the answer. Sin 60 is what? Root 3 by 2. What is mu now? That's what you need to find. Sin r, sin 30. Sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2. This 2, that 2 gets cancelled. The refractive index is nothing but a root 3. This is how you can solve this problem. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching. See you once again in the next video.